90% of people don't know what an RCD is, but it could save your life. This is the Watts family. We have Dad, David, Mum, Elaine, Daughter, Ali, and new lodger, Jan. Watch their stories and try to spot all the electrical hazards involved. You may even recognise one or two in your own home. Yeah, nice to meet Dan, you. Come in, come thank in. Thank you, thank you. Are you okay with that? Yeah? Yes, good, thank you. So, this is your room. Hope you like it. It's perfect. Is there uh, anything you need? Oh, no, uh, well, if possible, can I put up a picture? Oh, right, yeah. Well, Dave will be home later, so I'll get him to sort you out with a hammer or something. Perfect. Yeah? So, if I leave you to get unpacked, is that okay? Probably, yes. Oh. Tools down here. alone if you like. Oh, perfect. Hi guys. I thought you might like a drink. So did you manage to spot all the hazards? Let's take a closer look. For your own safety and the safety of others, you should always try to buy your electrical items from a reputable source. Counterfeit kills. If you don't buy a known brand off from the high street and you buy from perhaps market stalls or over the internet, you are more likely to find shoddy goods, faulty goods or even counterfeit goods. There are instances where dodgy goods can cause fatalities. Forcing the wrong plug or adapter into a socket is very dangerous and can lead to electric shock or fire. The dangers of forcing a two-pin plug into a three-pin socket are that a two-pin plug doesn't have a fuse and for our electrical system you need to have the appliance fuse through the plug. Without the fuse it could overload and catch fire. Another problem is that there is no protection uh, should there be a fault on the appliance if it needs an earth because the two-pin plug will not have an earth and therefore there could be a risk of electric shock for the user of that piece of equipment. Walls and partitions conceal electrical cables as well as gas and water pipes. A cable detector will help identify the presence of concealed cables, but if in doubt, consult a qualified electrician. Anybody fitting something to the wall should always check for service pipes or cables before commencing work. Particularly with electrical systems, the cables generally run directly down the wall to the outlet. 
So first of all, check that uh, it, there is no socket below you. If you're unsure, you can buy detectors from DIY stores which detect cables in walls. People have died as a consequence of the uh, problem of penetrating cables. If you cover the ventilation slots on a heater, it could cause it to overheat and catch fire. An RCD is a safety device that switches off electricity automatically if it detects a fault. Remember to plug your gardening equipment and power tools into a socket protected by an RCD.